Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode number 16 of the build of my 63 unibody going on to an 01 uh, Crown Vic. Uh, just a little item I've got here. Uh, this makes it to where you can snap right in. I've already snapped that one in to the Crown Vic headlight. And you just click that in and then it'll go to the original truck headlights. So uh, that is part number. It's the 9007 to H4 connector. I got those off Amazon for about 10 bucks. Uh, just snaps in so that you don't have to do any uh, splicing or anything. I got a cold air intake to give me some extra room instead of using the full box. I've still got to, once I get the inner fender up here, I've got to mount the bracket to hold it here. Uh, but that gives me some extra room and it'll give me room to put my windshield washer fluid on the side. And that one is from r -Tunes Racing, real good kit. Everything fit real well and it went together really simple. Good directions with it and their website. You can go and get the instructions. Um, I would do a video on my vent windows on my truck. When I got the truck, if you go back to episode one, when you see me uh, do a walk around on the truck, the vent windows were taped on both sides, inside and out on both sides. Uh, the little handle that closes it that holds it on the divider bar. Those were broke off on both sides and that, the doors overall were in great shape, but man, the vent windows for whatever reason were just trash. So thankfully on Facebook Marketplace, I found a, a pair of doors. They weren't unibody doors, but that didn't matter. Uh, from a 63 model truck in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is a couple hours away. I drove down, uh, the vent windows were in great shape. The doors, the bottoms were completely rusted out. I mean, they were terrible. Uh, but anyway, I paid 80 bucks for the two doors because I needed the vent window stuff, and that saved me. If you guys have priced this stuff, you know that saved me a bunch of money. Uh, but Jesse, if you'll step around off there and then uh, just turn back to the door. So I did get vent window gaskets. I have put those in. I've got, the, got this one sitting back out here ready to put back on the truck. I will not do anything at all as far as telling you how to do this or showing you anything to do with this. Go to Rudy's Resurrection episode 15 so if you have any if desire to work on your door the um anti-rattle kit uh the vent window gaskets any of that stuff that you want to do with your doors look up rudy's resurrection episode 15 he does fred does an incredible job on that and thank you fred i used that episode and referred back to it multiple times as i did my doors and you made it so much easier than just trying to do that on my own um, I am, if you'll step over here, Jesse, like a lot of, follow me around, like a lot of guys, um, I will, I've cut a notch in up to here for my fuel filler to come up uh, so that that can drop down on all the way. And on the, um, if you can see here, back up just a little bit, uh, you can see the parts I've cut off. This is what I'm taking out, the little vent pipe and the actual fuel filler neck piece. That's what I have cut out. And I've got this part, which will go, I'll put a, I've got the hose that'll go there and the other hose and we'll clamp those on. And what I'm planning on doing, I originally thought about using the jerry can I got off of Matt at River City and doing the jerry can like he was doing, but that's gonna be a lot of extra work. And that may be something I switch to down the line, but just for right now, I'm just gonna drill a hole out. I've got a, um, hole saw, so I'm just going to pop a hole in here, uh, stick that in, run the lines up and clamp that to it once I drop the bed back down, and I'm just going to have my fuel outlet here, uh, got the cap ready to go in there, so that'll do that. Uh, a couple things I'm doing, again, like on the front, uh, to make it where I'm not having to splice and mess anything up, um, on my original tail light brackets, um, I've got the wires run, these are all connected, uh, got them all labeled. And what I'm doing is I took one of the front ones out because uh, it's the same socket and I have got a hole saw. I saw this idea from someone else and I'll have to take this out and put a little uh, put a little divider in here and put some epoxy in there to separate where there's a divider between the two lights. I do have new lens covers that I ordered from LMC Truck. Um, but anyway, I've got a hole saw, a one and uh, one eighth inch. So you use that to drill the holes and then what I took was a Dremel tool. Uh, well, first I took the socket itself and would lay it in the hole and took a pencil and just went around the little, I guess you'd call it the ears of this. And you can see where I've notched out the three little edges. 
and then notched out the three on this one to where this will go in and screw in and well these will go in and screw in and so i'll have the original factory crown vic bulbs that just screw in i'll put some a little uh, i'll ruin that one but anyway i'll put some epoxy in there to hold that on or some glue uh on the tag light um, i'm going to use the crown jesse if you can show down here let me hit my light on here i'm using the crown vic tag light and up here where the original tag light went was this little bracket and you know all the original which it was bent a little further i flattened that out and what i have done is where these mounting holes are i have drilled out a hole there and a hole there so i'm going to put the crown vic tag light in the exact spot up under there don't you don't need to show they'll be able to see that uh, but anyway right up under there i'm going to put the crown vic tag light still got to run uh, and i may go to harbor freight or tractor supply or somewhere and either down here or on the um, tag i mean the uh, receiver hitch i'm going to mount the backup light somewhere but i'll come up with that once i get to that point but anyway using all the crown vic factory bulbs the tail lights turn signals on the front on the turn signals i'm going to do the same thing with the hole saw showed you how i'm going to do the fuel line and i've got the uh, flexible hose that i've got for that mostly that's it one little tip i always try to throw a tip in uh as you're working in the garage when you're up under the car and i've seen this from somewhere else so this is not my original idea but i like it so much i want to pass it on uh, when you're under the car working and the strain of keeping your neck off the floor trying to look at what you're doing if you bring your two liter bottle out and use that as your little prop or pillow that was real handy and it's free uh, so that's uh, repurposing that um, this will wrap up episode 16. I've got the truck ready. Um, I, the hitch receiver is done. Uh, the fuel line or the fuel neck should be ready to put, as I showed you, the way I'm going to pop it in there. So I'm going to drop this back down, drill the hole for that, mount the hose, and get that ready to put the hose clamps on and everything. And I've got my exhaust done and that run out and mounted where I want those. Uh, I just used the original Crown Vic, shortened it out, and then uh, put a, got a connector that uh, shortened it up probably 10 inches from the original amount. Uh, well, you can see probably maybe close to 12 inches. That's the part I cut out. And then I just took the down, where it turned down at the end, took it up there and just got a connector and put those back together and tacked it or welded that all together and clamped it. Um, as I have been doing at the end of each video, I'm going to throw in a Bible verse. Actually, I'll do two today. And it's in Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. And Jesse's going to zoom in on it there. It says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Well, sorry about the little racket there. My garage in that Maryland right now. I've got to clean up. That's I'm, I'm like Nathan says. I'm getting to the mental overload of having all this stuff everywhere. But I've been working a lot and trying to keep stuff to where it's handy. So thank you guys for watching so much. If you like the video, subscribe. I'll keep doing this. Um, 